I'm here with Ryan Brown, the new state director for the League of Young Voters. Thanks for joining us, Ryan. Thank you for having me. Um, we want to find out all about you and how you got started with the League of Young Voters. But before we get started with that, for people who might not know what the League is, could you describe it a little bit? Absolutely. So we are uh, an organization that really empowers young people, provides education and tools to teach young people uh, to uh, become more engaged in the political process. We help them find their voice uh, and find opportunities for them to really stand up and, uh, and play a part in how their community is run. What's the age range that people usually get involved with the league? Yeah, so uh, you know, I would say a majority of our members are probably in their mid to late 20s, uh, but we do serve uh, you know, folks who are in high school all the way up to the age of 35. So th those people that decide to join the league and get involved politically, how do you assess where their political stance is? How do you, how do you begin to represent them? Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, you know, for a majority of folks that want to have, um, you know, a, a larger role in the league, it, it always starts out with a with a one-on-one -on -one conversation. You know, I think uh, for folks who want to get involved in political work, it's always important to understand um, what that motivation is. It's important to understand why that's important to that person and be able to identify, um, you know, an appropriate place for them. You know, maybe somebody's interested in a particular issue, and that's what drives them in finding an opportunity to get involved to, uh, you know, advance that cause or maybe it's really just to gain a you know a better understanding of how my local government works and, um, and how does the, does the platform overall for the, that it represents the whole membership of the league how has that arrived at yeah well I mean we're, we're a progressive organization but we are absolutely community driven um, you know all of the endorsements that we make all of the issues that we decide to work on the legislation that we decide to support um, that's really all uh, decided by our membership uh, you know so so um, holding community meetings getting input um, from folks that are interested in making the decisions based on that input So basically a democratic process absolutely absolutely so how did you arrive to be the state director here yeah well you know I, I'm, I'm so excited to be getting involved with the league. I moved to Maine uh, during the summer of 2010 mm -hmm. um, to get involved in the marriage equality fight to win marriage for gay and lesbian couples here. It was a great victory a couple months ago. Um, and prior to that, I, uh, I was living in Boston, um, managing field operations for a, a gay rights organization there. Um, and in that role, really focused a majority of my time on advancing marriage equality campaigns throughout all of New England. Um, so I was always based in Boston, but I had the privilege of being able to go work with, you know, handfuls of other organizations carrying out that work and, uh, uh, and help them advance that cause. But at the same time, also working to strengthen protections for the LGBT community at large in Massachusetts, um, primarily the transgender community. Um, but av having moved to Maine and, and uh, having been here for two and a half years, I, I fell in love with the state uh, and wanted to stay and wanted to, uh, you know, to, to really broaden my horizons and, and get involved in politics in a, in a broader way. Um, and, and what I'm so excited about uh, working at the League here, um, you know, in all of that political experience, what's been the most rewarding for me has really been identifying and developing that next front of political activists, you know, teaching people how to find their voice um, and teaching them the tools that they need to create positive change in the community at large. It, it just it, it, it made me think of that, the question about how, what kind of skills that you apply. I mean, obviously, the kinds of issues that you've been involved with are, you know, some, uh, in a lot of places, an uphill battle. Mm -hmm. What kind of things that do you, have you done that you bring to this job that really help you advocate politically? Yeah, well, I mean, I, I, I always approach my work in a, in a numbers-driven way. You know, I believe that there are strength in numbers, and it's really about, um, it's about building power um, by getting as many people in the community um, excited or agitated about, um, about a particular issue um, and getting them involved so uh, you know it's it's a lot about understanding what motivates uh, you know what motivates people who want to get involved in the work and finding the right place for them in the fight great well what are the fights coming up for the league yeah so you know we're entering the second year of a three-year strategic plan um, and we've got a couple of goals that we've outlined that we want to accomplish by the end of next year um, the first of which I think a lot of folks are familiar with our voter guide that we disseminate every single um, every single election cycle it outlines the candidates that will appear on the ballot, and, you know, different ballot questions that will appear, um, and, and includes our endorsements and why those endorsements were made. Um, we'd like to increase distribution to 25,000 um, here in Portland and then 8,000 in Lewiston and Auburn. Uh, and we'd also like to increase the um, uh, portion of our membership that's eligible to vote on those endorsements to 300 this year, which would be really exciting. 
Um, we'd also like to build our uh, base of supporters, increase our base of supporters up to 10,000, um, and provide some additional um, civic engagement tools to really help the community, help those, those new members that are involved um, get involved in their community. Um, one of the things that we'll be doing to achieve that is launching a new series of resources in the form of a civic guide um, that will cover various topics from you know who's who in your city hall uh, to how to run for local office. You know, um, looking at this previous election cycle, there's so many uh, successful young candidates that are now you know elected officials, and I think it's important that we ride on that momentum. Well, it sounds like you've got a lot going on, and it sounds like you probably need a lot of people to get involved and be part of it. We absolutely do. What, what would people need to do to get more? How can they get more information? Yeah, the, the best do? place to the best place to go um, to learn more about this work or to get involved would be to go to our website, which is maine.theleague.com. Great. Well, thank you very much for joining us. I hope you a lot of success with the league. It's a great organization. Thank you so much for having me. Um.